This is the first time that machine learning has been used to interpret cardiac images to predict a patient's outcome, to decide whether at high risk of developing heart failure or at lower risk of developing heart failure. So machine learning has been used before to make predictions about patients, but not primarily by building 3D models out of the MR images. And we think that really contains so much rich and important information because what happens to patients depends on what happens to the function of their heart. And if you use a computer to really examine that in great detail and find things that are beyond human perception, we think that adds a lot of additional precision in making clinical predictions about patients. Well, the treatment for this condition is really based on your risk of dying within the, the following year. So if your risk is particularly high, then they will try and use more intensive therapy. And that might include intravenous drug therapy. It might include being put on the list for a lung transplant even. So this technique seems to be a much more accurate way than the current method, which is really considering all of the tests in isolation and deciding what weight to give them. There are guidelines published about how to interpret a range of tests 